This video is gonna go over all of the basic clone armor phases. Other videos will be made in the future that are gonna go more in depth with specialized units, weapons and equipment, and legions. The first phase isn't actually a phase, but is the clone training armor. The armor consisted of a full body suit and helmet. The armor was more padded looking than the standard phase 1 clone trooper armor and its helmet left the full face of the clone trooper visible unlike the standard armor. This armor was only worn on Kamino and was replaced by phase 1 armor when the clone cadet graduated from training. Phase 1 clone trooper armor was the armor worn by early clone troopers of the Grand Army of the Republic during the Clone Wars. With some design assistance from Django Fett, the basic armor design became composed of 20 form-fitting plates of lightweight plasteroid armor sealed to a black bodysuit and weighed just under 40 kilograms. Because the armor would be used by an army of physical identical clones, only one size was needed. It loosely resembled Mandalorian shark trooper armor. The helmets usually had fins on the top. Phase 2 Clone Trooper Armor was an enhanced version of the Phase 1 Clone Trooper Armor. Phase 2 incorporated all of its predecessor systems in addition to polarized lenses, padding, and stronger, lighter armor plates. It could also support modular attachments making it superior to its predecessor. It was far more comfortable for humans to wear than its predecessor. Phase 2 Armor was the basis of the Stormtrooper Armor later worn by soldiers of Emperor Palpatine's empire. Stormtrooper armor was a white plasteroid body armor over a sealed black body glove worn by Imperial Stormtroopers, and in this respect appeared similar to their Clone Wars Phase 2 Clone Trooper armor. The complete set of 18 pieces completely encased the body. It also protected the troopers from very harsh environments as well as projectiles and kinetic energy weapons. The army significantly reduced damage to the wearer from a blaster boat, but it could be completely penetrated by a more powerful canyon blast. The body glove allowed for operation in warm or cold climates. However, it could protect the trooper from almost any environment, from total vacuum conditions to very extreme in cold and heat for a very limited period of time. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more of this series. Be sure to check out my monthly update video in order to find out the release schedule of this series as well as seeing my other series. Also tell me what you liked about the video, what you would want me to change, and what you would want me to add. And as always, may the force be with you.